Welcome to our YouTube channel, Uflyer. With reference to our previous video about IELTS, we will now be digging deep into the IELTS listening test layout. For those who have not seen our previous video, a link is provided in the description. Please go and have a look at it to have a better understanding of IELTS. So without delay, let us start today's video. The time allotted for the IELTS listening examination is 30 minutes. And the candidates are expected to answer 40 questions. IDP provides two options in which one can appear for the listening test. First PBT or the paper-based test and the second CBT or the computer-based test. In paper-based test, 10 minutes extra time is allotted to the candidates to transfer their answers to the final answer sheet, whereas only two minutes of extra time is allotted for computer-based test takers to submit their answers. Pencil and paper are provided by the examination center. It is highly recommended to use only a pencil to write the answers. The listening examination is divided into four sections. The four audios are played at intervals. 30 seconds of time is provided before every audio begins to read the questions. Audio 1 is a conversation between two persons. Audio 2 is a monologue which means a single speaker who explains the layout of a place. Audio 3 is usually a group discussion. Audio 4 is again a monologue and is an academic lecture. The difficulty level increases with every audio. So it can be assumed that audio 1 will be the easiest and audio 4 will be the toughest. The main challenge faced by students while taking the test is the accent along with pronunciation. The pace or speed of the audio at times becomes difficult to follow as the audio is played only once without any pause or repeat option. Students have to increase their concentration levels in order to acquire a good band score. There are certain strategies that can be followed to overcome the challenges. During the 30 seconds allotted before every audio, students are supposed to read the questions allotted for that particular audio and mark the keywords. Students need to pre-assume the answers and learn to think ahead of the audio. While writing down the answers, students must be very careful with spellings, grammar, capital letters, and also follow the instructions given regarding word count. All these strategies are to improve the confidence of the candidate. Perfection comes with practices. The more one practices, the more confident one becomes. Moreover, it is a wrong concept or a myth that IELTS listening examination can be entirely answered in capital letters if you are attempting a CBT test. The scoring pattern is, each correct answer is allotted one mark. There is no part marking or negative marking. The highest band score is 9. The conversion table is attached for your convenience. Kindly go through the same and note how many answers you need to correct for achieving your desired band score. I hope the video was helpful. Stay tuned for IELTS listening in details part 2 for more in-depth details which will benefit you and help you all in preparing for the test. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more informative videos like this. Thank you.